So I was born in, in the States, educated in the States, PhD in um, social psychology back in 2009. And I got into research in the field of personality more than social psychology. And I was able to capitalize on the emergence of this new topic in particular called the dark triad, which has now been extended to be the dark tetrad. And by bibliometric analysis, at least, I'm the most cited researcher in the world on the topic. Uh, it doesn't mean I do the best work or, or I'm um, anything special. I'm just very good at being quick and publishing many articles. Um, and so I am a personality psychologist using often uh, evolutionary and psychometric methods to understand the, um, the nature of these traits, the origins of these traits, the developmental trajectory of these traits, but also the outcomes of these traits. Mm. Thank you. Thanks, Pete, for that introduction. Something I wanted to mention also, Pete is also a professor of psychology at the University of Padua. Is that what it's called? Padua in Italy. Uh, just wanted to mention before that he was in Sydney, uh, at Western Sydney University, uh, which was a university where I did my PhD, and I think he was a faculty then as well then. And he was one of the people that always inspired me in many ways with um, his uh, research productivity and uh, panache, you know. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, it's been wonderful to have uh, Pete on this uh, platform. Now, also, I wanted to mention you're currently still the editor of... Uh, um, personality and individual differences. That... No, about uh, t a couple of months ago, I actually resigned. I had been doing it at work. I had been an editor for 10 years and uh, right. you were before that. And so, you know, it's time to pass the torch at some point yeah. to other people. And, you know, as you know, one of the important things about uh, the ways in which you get promoted is doing service for the the field that if if I occupy this position or if senior academics occupy these positions forever, and um, it undermines the success of juniors, but it probably has some impact on science, though. It, it, you know, older people tend to be not s just physically slower, but they're they're less um, intellectually uh, willing to adopt and adapt to new ideas. And so, to bring into the future, you need the future. And so. Uh, the journal is struggling, uh, as a lot of other journals are, with things like open science and things like that. And and that's that's really something that for the for the next generation. I mean, I'm right, 40, right. I'm only 45, but I've been doing this for long enough that I'm basically an old man yeah, yeah, yeah. in terms of at the academic game. Right, right. I think you've uh, had an impressive uh, uh, profile. I think probably around more than 30,000 citations. Like it's impressive and incredible.